Hi, this is Sagar Wagle, one of the musculoskeletal radiology fellows at Stanford University. We have a 17-year-old female with four months of elbow pain. The radiograph on the left shows a osteochondral lesion. This is a coronal MRI and this is a sagittal MRI. Here we see the osteochondral lesion of the capitellum. There is some increased fluid signal between the osteochondral lesion and the underlying bone and there is some cystic change at the interface as well. Here we do see the cystic change as well. The more the fluid signal there is in between the osteochondral lesion and the underlying bone, the more it indicates instability of the osteochondral fragment. Here we do see some area where the fluid signal is not as prominent. Osteochondral lesion is thought to happen due to chronic repetitive microtrauma which compromises vascular supply. This patient was treated surgically with microfracture procedure. In the procedure, small holes are drilled into the bone and the idea is that it would stimulate vascular supply to the bone. This is the post-operative radiograph and we see that the osteochondral lesion is not as prominent as compared to the preoperative radiograph. Here, we have another 17-year-old female with elbow pain, and here we see the osteochondral lesion of the capitellum. This is a sagittal MRI image. We see the osteochondral lesion, and we see fluid signal between the osteochondral lesion and the underlying bone, which suggests that this could be an unstable osteochondral fragment, meaning that this could move around. This patient was treated surgically with a procedure called OATS, osteochondral autograft transfer system. In this surgery, a piece of cartilage and underlying bone is taken from somewhere else in the body. Most often, it is the knee, and that piece of cartilage and bone is put into the capitellum. So the osteochondral lesion that was here previously is thrown away, and the new cartilage and bone fragment is put here and screwed in. That is all about osteochondral defect of the capitellum. Thank you for watching the video.